and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we are connecting with the sign of Taurus for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements, wherever you have the Taurian placement in your chart, okay? Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like a private tarot reading, you can ask whatever question you want for your reading. Like this video, please. Subscribe to your my channel, <laughs> to your channel, to my channel, <laughs> uh, and comment below what video you want to see next. So let's get right into it, Taurus. What is going on? That one wanted to fall out. Oh, this is two. What does Taurus have going on during this time? Okay. Okay. A lot of ascensions happening. That's definitely a collective energy at this point, Taurus. Let's see. Hey. Oh. It's mm, a lot. Any other messages for Taurus? Just one or two more, Spirit. One or two more. Any other messages for Taurus? In the spread. Any other messages that Taurus needs to hear at this time? Okay. All right, so we have charity. Let's just go one by one. So we have charity with prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven, ask, and you shall receive. So Taurus, that's very much so like you to want to do everything on your own. You guys are really strong individuals, to be honest. Tapping into that Taurian energy. Uh, Taurians can be very, very strong. And I'm just seeing this to be the case here. Um, yeah, you guys, I know you want to do everything by yourself, but the universe is asking you for, you know, to ask for help. Open your heart to, you know, having additional help when you're manifesting. Um, you also may want to choose a different method of manifesting. I'm hearing for those of you who are feeling like you kind of hit a wall, you don't know what to do. Um, you may want to just honestly go on YouTube. That's what I do if I need some new techniques, if I want to, you know, look up something new, do something different, because there's just so many ways and so many methods that you can manifest things. I just heard five by five. Someone's doing the five by five method. I think it's what it's called or five, five, five method. I think it's five by five. But anyways, yeah, tapping into this energy. <clears throat> I'm getting that for you guys right away. So the next we have Master Buddha with increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice is what it says at the bottom of that one. Yeah, guys, I keep getting that energy, tapping into this energy. It's like you guys are becoming more aware of the universe and the power it holds. And you're trying to break yourself off a piece of the pie, which is very, very like I'm so proud that you guys are actually doing that because I feel like for so long, so many people have felt like, you know, it's got to be like something that only the elite get like oh you know psychics and mediums were like where way more niche and i'm just so happy to see everyone tapping into their own personal power nowadays like it's amazing all right so we have mavatar babahi i think it's pronounced with soul expansion your consci consciousness is expanding you understand the connection between all things -na 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 -na. i don't know why that gives me like a little bit of conspiracy theory vibes but tapping into this energy i feel like you guys are realizing that there's like really no such thing as coincidence and you're being called to tap into certain energies called to do certain things and i feel like you guys are actually just going with the flow allowing yourself to free fall into what the universe is trying to connect you to and you're having soul expansion specifically with soul expansion though that creates this level of abundance like after you have a soul expansion it just magnetizes it makes manifesting so easy so if you guys have been hitting a wall with manifesting something specific maybe you'll want to start manifesting soul expansion connection to your higher self connection to your guides and things like that i always say if you can't go through it get around it so if you're hitting a wall work on something else and it'll you know affect what you're actually trying to do all right, let's keep going. So we have El Moria with awakening presence. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of awakening, a lot of, you know, like opened awareness energy. Um, the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. You guys may want to make sure you're, con uh, you're being protected at this time because you're not the only one, though, having soul expansion. And the thing is, um, you know, there's good people there's people with you know maybe bad intentions as well so you just want to make sure that you're protecting yourself i'm not saying to put the evil eye on all your profiles um i mean i guess that could help 
I don't know. I've seen a lot of people do that nowadays, but tapping into the energy, you may want to do some actual work, you know, just to, um, you know, block any negative energy from you. It's as simple as you can literally just burn a right white candle, um, put your hands over it, speak your intentions over it. I'm lighting this candle so that it may bring forth neutral energy, neutralize any negative energies, block any, you know, um, negative, negative energies from reaching me. It's, it's as simple as that. Honestly, light the candle and, and call it good. Um, let's keep going. So we have Horus with Cosmic Gateway. Um, at the bottom of this one, it says your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. So yeah, guys, I feel things really changing for you. Wow. Feel things really changing for you. Ooh, the bottom of the deck, we have the Dell card. So let's see what tarot cards just fell out. I'm glad the cards want to speak to you guys today, Taurus, because they've been a little difficult today. So let's see, what do we got? <clears throat> okay, this is a clear love message here. So let's just start with this one. We have the Two of Wands in reverse, or I'm sorry, Two of Wands upright with the Four of Wands in reverse. So in, ma in terms of matters of the heart, I always say write it down. First of all, putting pen to paper literally holds a vibration. It does, it'll, t I don't know why that's so special. I should like look into it tonight. But anyways, um, you may want to write down exactly what you're looking for, exactly what you want to attract towards you, especially if you're single, you don't have anyone specific you're trying to manifest or anything like that. Um, because I see that there's not a block, but there's just kind of like this confusion or fog in terms of you and the universe. Like I feel like you, the universe, God, spirit, divine, whatever you believe in need to communicate your higher self um, as far and get on the same page as far as what you're looking for, because you want to write down, I want someone who's funny or I want to write, I want someone who's more serious. I want someone that looks more like this, you know, be specific as you want this kind of job, all of that because it's like not that love isn't around you but it's a, a matter of you choosing like what kind of love you're looking for and making it clear what you want because we have free will we really have to attract these things and take a driver's seat role otherwise you're just kind of opening yourself up to you know whatever may stumble upon you and decide that is filling you and we have the Ten of Cups here, which the Ten of Cups isn't all about love, even though it's the suit of cups. It's also about, or romantic love, I'll say. It's also about personal fulfillment. So that's what I see you're opening yourself up to, especially with this high priestess, very intuitive, wise energy. I feel like you guys, I feel it coming. <laughs> I feel like you guys may feel it coming towards you. Like I genuinely feel like this is a shift happening that you can feel. So if you're getting a lot of headaches or you find yourself abnormally tired, um, definitely look into that, okay? But I feel like it's honestly because of, you know, the spiritual aspect here. Ten of Swords in Reverse, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Wow, so proud of you, Taurus. This is beautiful. I feel like you guys are transmuting the negative energy associated with the Ten of Swords. And this doesn't have to do with, you know, anything specific. It's however it resonates, whatever you've been through. Everyone's path is totally, totally different. Even all Taurus, you know, Taurians, your path is totally different. Um, so I feel like you guys have started to transmute this energy, though. You're not just kind of sitting, wallowing in what has happened to you. I feel like you're taking yourself like picking yourself up by the bootstraps and you're starting to work on new things and I feel like you guys have an idea and the universe really wants you to pursue it especially with this knight of swords I just keep getting this energy like just go just do it and the devil energy honestly may be the temptation to you know stay where you are I know you know Torians definitely like stability um, but you guys also like your bread so don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and to really tap into that eight of pentacles energy um, because you are being called to invest more time and energy into some life purpose stuff and um, some stuff that can bring you some money. Don't allow fear to hold you back with that devil card there because I feel like it's definitely a factor or there's some temptation around you, Taurus, that you should be aware of. All right, so let's keep going. Ooh, that one wanted to jump out. Let's keep going. So we have shocked. What are they going to be shocked about? going on for Taurus <laughs> why are the love cards so quiet for you guys what's going on Taurus <laughs> what's going on maybe you've been out of communication with someone maybe you're just simply not worried about it okay 
And then we have Manifesto. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we got. What's going on for Taurus? Oof, 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 oof. Okay, let's just start here. We have Blast from the Past, Forbidden Fruit, and then Manifesto. Manifesto is definitely like a big monologue energy, okay? That's like someone expressing how it is that they feel about you, someone being, you know, honestly, I get a energy of honesty with this though. So I'm not hating on it. Um, all energy from the past isn't bad energy. Also, you know, past blast from the past doesn't always have to be like a past full on lover. This could be someone you never really got things to pursue with. But however, the only thing that trips me up is this for forbidden fruit energy, especially since we got the uh, double card at the bottom of the deck because that makes me feel like you guys are tempted by someone or something and they're saying all the right things, but for whatever reason, there's some resistance or just like this disbelief on your end. But like I was saying before, I am picking up on honesty. So I do see someone coming back from the past, Taurus, but they're going to give you a manifesto. I would hear what it is that they have to say. At the bare minimum, hear what it is that they have to say and then go to, you know, that action-oriented energy after that, like after you at least hear them out um, with the stop being bossy card. Um, that's that same kind of energy. That's really just confirmation for me. The universe is like, you are so quick to cut them off or jump to conclusions as far as what energy they're in, you know, what they're on. For some of you, they're going to have a lot to say. They're going to tell you about the trials, the tribulations, the lessons that they've learned since they had something with you um, and I, I feel like you guys are going to be shocked to hear that they've gone through much through so much um, and shocked to hear that they're being so genuine shocked to see like the energy they're on it does feel very different very different from what you've experienced um, and with this positive thinking card this is really about you know giving them the benefit of the doubt benefit of the doubt or hearing them out for someone, someone back from like school is contacting them. Um, like, you know, this is why I never reached out to you. This is why I, you know, didn't pursue the connection back then. Like I was nervous or this and this and that type energy. So this is Alice Love Exists Visions. You can find her here on YouTube. This is her Romance Oracle deck. I genuinely love this deck. And I believe you can get it on her Etsy store which she'll probably have linked under her videos or her about page on her YouTube channel. All right, let's see. Okay, that one's standing straight up like, take me. Woo, I am talking about you to others is what it says. Oof, 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 oof. For some of you, that's what you're irritated by. For some of you, Taurus, um, I, I feel like you're irritated by that. I'm gonna keep those two. Ooh, 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 Okay, <laughs> we have I am frustrated with you and I am spying on you. So someone's been doing some watching over social media. Maybe that's all they can do, especially if you're like, you know, still in school with this person because you guys may be in virtual classes or something like that. But let me see what we got. Oof, this goes hand in hand. So we have I am spying spying on you and you found out something about me now this could be vice versa maybe you found out something about them and you cut them off in the past or kind of wrote them off in the past but i honestly feel like they've been spying on you and they've jumped to conclusions about something that they've seen on social media also the fact that they're talking about you it depends on who they're talking with really taurus <sighs> a little bit of gossip energy now i'm getting with that devil energy here yeah, um, I'm talking about you to others and I'm frustrated with you. See, that makes me feel like someone may be gossiping, especially if they're talking to people that secretly have something for them or just don't like you very much. You know, people are you know, people. Not everyone gets along, but tapping into this energy, it feels like they're frustrated by something that they've heard. Mm, there's some gossip going on. And maybe that's a part of the reason why you can't really trust them because they run their mouth too much. Like, why are you talking about me to other people instead of just talking to me and getting the tea from the source? Like, why do you want to play this telephone game? Some of you guys are frustrated because of that. Um, we have, I am playing games on purpose and I'm getting lost in the, em in the memories. This gives me like Gemini energy, Venus and Gemini energy, maybe a little Sagittarius energy to be honest here because tapping into this energy, Taurus, it feels like they go back and forth. They get lost in who, who, who. Okay, I just heard something. For someone, someone has been talking about you to other people. 
and they've kind of made up this like fake persona of who you are in their head like yeah he's just a f boy or yeah she talks to everyone when really you're actually quite wholesome and, and kind hearted but they've started to actually believe the lies at this point because they've been going back and forth so much and like the you know um the the gossiping camaraderie that comes with you know two people not liking one person or gossiping about one person that's kind of got them to the point where they start they've started to believe the lies so on one end they're kind of causing drama but on the other end they really kind of want a chance and they miss you there is a lot of back and forth energy i would not be surprised if the majority of the Torians that tuned in this week were younger or in a community that they've kind of grown up in, either or, like younger still in um, school or um, still like in your hometown, because I just feel like there's like talk, there's, there's talk, there's talk and gossip happening. And I don't feel like, mm, I didn't think I'll hold you. I was gonna say, I don't feel like it's all bad things. I don't think it's bad in the sense where people are outright lying, but I do genuinely feel like people have a idea of who you are and it's not who you actually are. And it's like, if you guys actually took a moment to take your head out of your, and get to know me, then you wouldn't think this at all. But instead you'd rather run around like children and just gossip. And how dare you even have a crush on me when you allow yourself to believe these things, hear these things, engage in this talk about me. Like you don't wanna to talk to me, but you wanna talk about me. Okay, that sounds like an obsession. Like I'm hearing some of your inner dialogue and some of you guys know this is happening and you're frustrated, whereas some of you guys, um, people have kind of started to act a little weird or like maybe switch up on you and you're wondering why, this is why, this is the truth of the situation. But you, someone that has had a past with you or that likes you is engaging in this and that's the actual problem. Okay. And maybe it's because they feel like they can't have you because I'm trying to think back on Taurus, your last few spreads. And I feel like I've gotten messages for you guys recently where it's been like, they, they want to come back, they, they can't get enough of you, but maybe something happened or they feel like they can't come back for whatever reason. So they've just resorted to just talking about you instead of like actually taking the action to come back. If this person has done you wrong, that's really the only way right off the top of my head where this would make sense. Because if they've done you wrong, then it's like, okay, that's why you don't want to come back because you know you did me dirt and you're going to have to own up to it, <laughs> you know? Okay, let's keep going. Full moon in Cancer, I'm so glad to see this, to be completely honest. A personal issue reaches resolution. New moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. Now, this is giving me two T's. Um, for one, for some of you, this is, you know, you guys finally starting off, like, on a better foot. You guys really kind of starting over, um, you know, in a new romantic cycle in which you can try to make it work this time. Not even try to make it work, but just, like, actually get to know each other instead of all this you know, roundabout and rigmarole. <laughs> I love that word, rigmarole. <laughs> um, but yeah, a new romantic cycle begins. Now for some of you, this is just new love. The universe is like, throw the whole man's away. Throw the whole woman away. Bye. Scram. Beat it. Throw them away. You had your chance. <laughs> I'm gonna send you something else. We have the new moon in Aquarius um, and the mutable moon. Mutable moon, okay, nothing is yet set in stone. For so, so for those of you getting like a bit disappointed at your situation, nothing is yet set in stone. So don't immediately settle into the energy, feeling like nothing will ever change or just like feeling really frustrated. Don't settle into that energy. Um, nothing is set in stone. I, I really do feel the change you're looking for will happen for you. Um, it's just gonna take a little bit of time. Not even, they just need to get out of that energy. Maybe you should reach out to be honest. Uh, we do have the new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. Um, maybe you wanna reach out uh, with a kind tone. Some of you are really like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Not after all of this, um, but yeah. <clears throat> Bring love into the situation especially when this b blast from the past energy comes back because, um, you know, I feel like you'll get the apology you're looking for, but give them a moment to do it. Don't kind of berate them and make them feel, you know, guilty right away because they may kind of settle back into that familiar energy of, I'm just going to gossip. You're right. You know, you don't want to validate everything they've been lying to themselves. 
Okay, so we have the new moon eclipse and the waxing crescent moon. Have faith in your dreams and expect powerful change. So for those of you who have been manifesting someone, even if it's someone new, this is just what came up to be aware of. But regardless, from the beginning of your spread, I still see you guys on a path to manifesting what makes you happy, not just in love, but in life. And it's just a matter of, again, making that hardcore plan, writing out exactly what you want or, you know, visualizing. You can do all sorts of stuff. That's just what I recommend. But I still see that on the board. Um, but this energy kind of took over as of now. They were really wanting you back, to be honest. But expect powerful change. Have faith in your dreams. You guys, some of you guys are manifesting something new. Some of you guys are manifesting this to happen, this reset. We've already got that confirmation. So don't operate out of a state of fear. And don't um, consistently worry about it because it's already coming for you. We've got that promised here. A new romantic cycle begins. So just know that that's coming. And really kind of trust the process. And if you want, maybe reach out. So yeah, babe, this is what's happening though, Taurus. Um, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. I love you. I love you. Be careful what you wish for and I will see you in the next one.